The Iranian regime executes more people per capita than any country in the world. They execute people for drug use, for the sale of drugs, for their sexuality, for their religious beliefs. We're here at Dag Hammarskjöld Plaza. Uh, we're engaged in some street theater protest against the Iranian regime. We're letting Mahmoud Ahmadinejad know that he is unwelcome here in New York. I think it's appalling that he's here. I mean, he denies the Holocaust. He calls 9-11 an inside job. Uh, you know, he wants to see a world without America. You know, we as Americans and New Yorkers have to show that he's not welcome here and we want them the hell out of this city as soon as possible. Islamic Republic is a, a regime that is responsible for the mass torture and mass murder of Iranian people. And it has no business representing those people here at the UN. You know, the Islamic Republic is a, a gender apartheid regime. Women are not equal in Iran, and yet the United Nations has placed the Islamic Republic on the UN Commission on the Status of Women, which sets global gender policy for you, me, and every other woman in the world. We don't need a gender apartheidist representing Iranian people, and we don't need them telling everybody else uh, about gender equality. Iranian people have uh, no freedom, freedom of, no freedom of speech. The Gmail and Google was just recently blocked in the country. The regime is uh, introducing intranet. We have journalists, students, women's rights activists, lawyers, all in prison in Iran. Some with 15-year prison sentences. Some on death row. I really believe that uh, we need to be the voice of the voiceless. And it's not enough just for me or or us, the Iranians, to be voice of the voices. We need the world to care about the Iranian people.